podcast, a bi-weekly podcast that is uploaded on Fridays. Find us on YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify. Someone once said Napster, but that's a lie. But hey, LimeWire. <laughs> Lime <laughs> uh, be sure to like us, rate us on all those platforms. Wherever, you, wherever you're watching us, listening to us, download us. It helps us out so fucking much. And thank you for downloading. Uh, and listening. And listening. All that. All the good stuff. I am your host with the most, the one, the only, the cool one, sometimes cool, me, Bryce, look at me, lavish, or listen to me, watch the video version, give me a little kiss. Kiss for the audio version. And the one, the only, what are you saying? <laughs> there he yep. is. Co-host. Co-host. Uh, the most. The, well, the most, I guess. Most. If you're the most, I can't be the most at that can, point. You can't have two most. We both can be the most. But it's Gibby here. Hey! hey oh. Oh. And welcome to... Well, <laughs> glad to be back yeah, after it's, two weeks. It's, yeah, yeah. It always feels so fucking long. long. I'm always excited to do it. So we got, we, got a lot, we got a lot of fucking games. We got a lot of games. I actually beat two. I <laughs> beat none. But... But you, I play. You play hardcore. I play hard, man. We'll, we'll, we'll get good show. Good show. We got news. Uh, Xbox. Uh, Steam. Uh, Halo. Um, and all all sorts of of, of goodies. Um, but before we get started, mm-hmm. I always say, hey, uh, what's that uh, email that I, that I normally say? I, I kind of forgot it. Well, uh, we're, we're, never we're, game over pod at gmail dot com slash dot org. Don't, dot, dot gov. why are you <laughs> trying every fucking time? You're, All right, no wonder, never game over no, pod at gmail. No wonder we don't get any fucking emails. No wonder. Everyone's like fucking typing in some dot crazy gov. shit that you're always giving these people. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck, man? Uh, never, never game over pod at gmail.com. Uh, Email us, or if you're watching the YouTube version, leave a comment. Like this gentleman, uh, G... Giovanni, have you heard of him before? I've heard of the name. Yeah, I think I met him once. He's he's, he's a right. cool guy. He's, yeah. some, he's say a cool he's guy. A, some say he's a joke a jokester. Hmm? I would say so. <laughs> uh, as always, we've been talking about movies like fucking crazy, like for the past <laughs> three or four weeks. Even though this is a video game podcast, but hey, we like to we talk about what we want to talk about. Um, he gave us his top ten, or not top ten, his top five movies. Um. Into the Spider Verse, Spider Man, Into the Spider Verse, Interstellar. Uh, these are in order. Uh, Shutter Island, uh, Harry Potter, Goblet of Fire, and Shang Ling: Legends of the Ten Rings. Shang Chi. And he also said, <laughs> "P.S. Uh, if you haven't seen Shang Chi, sh- what did I say? Shang Chi. Shang Chi. It's a must see. No N at the end. Uh, Shang Shang Chi, sh- like Chi, Chi, like Chi energy. Chi. Uh, good movie." Go see. And also said, uh, PPPS, um, Bryce can definitely beat me in Smash uh, Bros. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a challenge. <laughs> Joe, are you up for the challenge? <laughs> <laughs> but I know we talked about this last time. Mm-hmm. It's my boy. Motherfucker still has not seen Jaws, The Goonies. I don't think he's seen Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump's a good movie. I, or he might have seen Forrest Gump. There's another one that he hasn't seen that I'm like, homie, how have you not seen these movies? Back to the Future was one of them. That's what back. He, what he's never seen Back to the Future, that was, bro. That's a you know that you know they shot that movie, one, two, and three. Like oh, it's 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 one long ass movie yeah. that they're like we're doing three parts. Yeah, yeah. Like we that's, have to, that's so fucking amazing, man. It's like Lord of the Rings. Lord I, of the Rings is technically one. It's it's a book. They, it's one they, book. Did and they, they shoot it though, like continuously? I, I believe so. Yeah. Fucking a, fuck. I, I I've been thinking about Lord of the Rings, uh, kind of frequently. I was like, I should go back and watch them. You should. I, I, you know who, I'm an, I'm in, an, who enjoyed them when they were a baby? Uh, this guy named Samuel. He loves those, right? Is it him or someone else? Was it him? He loves the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, he loves the Lord of the Rings. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a he big did. fan. Okay. My my daughter, when she was a baby. Used yeah, to sit you there. told me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She used yeah, to sit yeah, there and yeah. watch. Yeah, you told me that. Like, Lord of the Rings. She's watching. So I was like, really? It's fucking. No fussing. Just, <laughs> just z- watching zoned that. out. Zoned out watching Fuck. that. Huh. But it's been on my mind lately. Trying not not in a rush, but I'm like, I'm an adult now. I'm 31, 31, going on 32 soon. I was like, maybe I might like these. I like I like the game Shadow of Mordor. Fucking cool game. The game is fucking. I have to play the uh, 
the other one. The sequel to Shadow of War. The ooh, Shadow. I forgot what it's called. No, wait. Middle Middle Earth. That's the one. Just Shadow Mortar is the first one, and then there's Middle Earth is the second one. There's only two of them. Whatever it is, I have to play. I have the second one. I just haven't played it yet. Okay, it's really. I remember the first one. I got so lost in killing fucking orcs. <laughs> like, I, dude, I remember I went on this tangent bro. where I'm like, I'm gonna beat the story, yep. and then I'm gonna go do everything else. Halfway through it, I was like, I gotta go level up, and I just started chasing dude, down every orcs bro, left and is, right. That is by far the coolest a gameplay mechanic that no one has <laughs> ever done no, no, never done or hasn't even touched that game think about it, no one has done it man i think hitman 3 kind of did it i think i could be fucking wrong um but no one i thought that, that dude that mechanic's so fucking cool like it's just a nemesis system it's like all right you let him let this he killed or, me Ugh, he yeah, leveled up yeah <laughs> it's, it's just like what the hell it's it's so cool i i really liked it that, dude that's all i did i was playing the story because the story is like 20 uh the story is really good too it's you, uh, if you if you you, yeah, rings, you appreciate more, yeah. I'm just like okay, whatever. Uh, the last boss is trash. I was like, this is guaranteed came out like 2015. I was like, this is uh, this is okay. Um, but I heard the second one is just like, yo, you got a you got a fucking army. You got dragons. Like it is yeah. so much like ten times cooler. I do I do want to uh, pick it up and play uh, eventually. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, those are his movies. Um, again, if leave leave a comment, leave a comment in the YouTube, you know, or email us at nevergameoverpod. At gmail.com. None of this other crazy <laughs> shit. This guy's fucking sane. Uh, and also, I wanted to do a circle back. I goofed. Okay. I goofed. I, goofed. I know. I, I, know. I, I want to I, hear this I, goof that you... Uh... I claimed that Mew 2 was in the first episode. I, I, felt, I felt confident, you know? Uh, I know I, you did. I, tried I can tell in your I, tone and your I, voice I tried, how confident you were. I tried challenging the, 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 the Pokemon expert. Gibby saying right there, as Thank you, as you guys you. know, uh, un- under the lower third, it's going to say Pokemon expert in the beginning of the video. Okay, so just, I got you. Just I got you. Know. Um, facts. Uh, fact, big big facts. facts. Yeah, absolutely facts. No one can challenge you. Um, so so, I felt great about my decision, and, and I was like, you're, you're wrong. I looked it up. I was wrong. Uh, uh, Mewtwo was in season one, episode 61. That was his first appearance, and then uh, season one, episode sixty-two, he made another appearance, and that See, was I, I, like I said, I believe you got confused with the movie. Uh, I'm Pokemon the first yeah, movie, pre- not that the was first there, episode. I remember explosion. <laughs> uh, they, I just intertwined again. My Pokemon knowledge isn't that great. So, of the cameos of like Gary in that or Blue, and what what in that in the movie? movie? Yeah, when Mewtwo, when uh, Giovanni's trying to uh, have Mewtwo um, uh, get control of his powers. He's basically in the, he's he's in a gym and that's okay. his Pokemon that he's fighting in the gym and then Gary comes out with his Arcanine I forgot who else it, wait I think it was that was in the movie yeah are you sh- I'm not gonna challenge you it's again. also on the show I, I, no, I believe no yeah, yeah it's in the show as well yeah I like believe. towards that's why I got confused like he Gary made an appearance like because he got defeated but Gary's in the movie it shows the battle like uh, snippet of it yeah okay because remember yeah because I I remember watching uh up to a point where. This is, where, where, this is where Pokemon stopped for me, where where Ash was going to fight Gary with an Eevee and Pikachu. And like I was really hyped to see that battle. And that next Saturday, I don't know why, I think video games came in, came into my world. I got you. And then it just... just Understandable. Went, went into there. So, um, But that was my big mistake. I'm sorry. I, but like I, I say, if, if you're a big fan of Pokemon, I recommend you read Pokemon Adventure, the manga. It's a crazier story than the one that the anime or the games try to portray. But it's amazing. Pretty much, I'm all everybody's evil. Okay, so. well, shit. Um, and that's that's it. Uh, I want to do something different. Okay, instead st- 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 of a vibe check, putting, all right, putting on the spot, putting both of them on the spot. I okay. already have my answer. Um, I want to know how did you get into video games? Like, what? Who? Who showed you? Who? 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 Was it a person? A friend? I remember uh, the first video game I played, and I remember I played that game for a very long time. Okay, and I know roughly around how old I was. Okay. Um, I, I was living in Puerto Rico. Okay. It was back, back in the day, wow. son. Wow. <laughs> I was wow, living in Puerto wait. Rico. <laughs> oh, shit. I've uh, known you for a while. Yeah. I mean, wow. I was, I, was, I was between the ages of one and like two and a half years old. Because mm-hmm. I remember at the time, my brother was a baby, baby, baby. Um, and, and for those who are comfortable, you guys don't know, me and my brother are two years apart. So if he's a baby around that time. I know, um, so I, that's what I'm saying. I know 
I, I know this moment, the, the memory I'm about to pull out uh-huh. was me playing it. It's not the first time I played it, but I know because my mom had told me what I always gravitated to. So my dad had a Sega, uh, uh, Sega Genesis. This is, so this is like in the 90s. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, okay. So I, it was, I had a Sega Genesis <laughs> with the Sonic, uh, the Sonic, t- uh, the Hedgehog 2, the, the not for resale okay uh one that came with the sega genesis mm. i remember i had that and and sonic the hedgehog one okay good games great games both great games that's all i would play that's no no streets of rage no i would remember i'm Year like two, two years yeah, old okay, okay. <laughs> so i'm a kid and i knew i could jump around and beat things up with sonic by just hitting on like just jumping on top of them and i would just play that that's why sonic is one of my uh Nostalgia characters that okay. I always love, and I always try to play all the Sonic games. But yeah, that's, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog two and one, or the two. And games that's how I you play. got into gaming. That's how I got into gaming. Thor, just, just went from there. Just from there. Do you remember? I remember having the Sega Game Gear. Okay. That um um my dad had picked up. At that point, I started um playing the NES. Okay. The Super NES, um the original Game Boy. Like I just started picking up consoles. Every okay. like a- any chance I got to get a gift, that came on. It was <laughs> I mean, I'd, only, I'd only get like one or two gifts uh, for any any event, but it'd be something video game related. Okay, yeah. Okay. I remember the first time I played Pokemon too. I think everyone remembers. Someone gave me um someone gave me the game. It was um, here you go. It was Pokemon Yellow, or it was either Yellow or Crystal. Best, Those are the two ones that best, I I say I best. Yellow is like the best one. I think it's, you know, it was Pokemon Yellow. Someone okay. gave me Pokemon Yellow. Fuck, man. I remember I had a Game Boy. I was playing the hell out of it. Uh, I remember did I you have a Game Boy or Game Boy Color? I had the Game Boy Pocket, the Color, and the original Game Boy. Oh, son. Boy, I man. had all of them. Man. <laughs> um, yeah. and tr- I got the actual Game Boy Pocket. This is where maybe I should have known better as a kid, but I didn't. So the way I got Game Boy uh, Pokemon Yellow, a buddy of mine had to get, let me borrow his Game Boy Pocket with pokemon yellow in it and i remember i had it for like a month or two and i was playing the game i was playing the hell of the game i was loving it game blew my mind i went to go give it back to him and he says you can have it i already have another one and i was like how the hell do you have two apparently the one he gave me was stolen um five finger discount yeah pretty much he said he, he had found it somewhere and just had he had another one, so he just gave it to me, and that was my first experience with Pokemon. <laughs> that, was your, that was your first experience of stealing, too. I didn't steal it. I <laughs> oh. found out it was stolen afterwards, but, <laughs> but yeah. And then... I think my story... It just, it, just, I, it just developed out. It kept going and going and going after that. Stories similar like yours, I remember the trickle effect was I was a kid. I was watching cartoons and stuff like that. Pokemon was on TV show, and... I don't remember. I think my mom saw me watching Pokemon and they're like, oh, snap, Pokemon's cool. Let me get him. I'm pretty sure my first game was or console was a Game Boy. I remember that. I'm pretty sure I stuck in my brain. I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. So that's your first console was the original I'm pretty Game sure Boy? Original Game, Game Boy Color. That was my first console. I was like, yo, Pokemon's awesome. We played it like probably like 100 hours. Had to be. We're, 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 we were kids, you know? Um, and then. PlayStation was out, but I didn't really know about that. Um, Jesus, like fucking pre pre internet or <laughs> whatever, and just magazines. But my mom's like, "Hey, this is where, this is where uh, gaming came to my my like." I, I was playing. I liked my Game Boy or games. I was like, "This is cool," but it didn't really spark that. Like, yo, video games are fucking awesome. So my mom's like, "Hey, we're going to my my uncle's house," and I was like, "All right, cool. I'll bring my Game Boy." This, this shout out to my fucking uncle. He got me into gaming, so I'm I'm, I'm probably like, oh man, six, probably six, seven or something like that. I go to his house. This motherfucker had, uh, just PlayStation games, just up the wazoo. Like he, original PS One game. Original. This is like nineteen. This is like nineteen ninety nine or nineteen ninety eight. One of those two. And I was just like, <laughs> I was blown away do you uh, remember the first game you played on that ps1 
I know a I, lot of people played Crash a lot for, as their, one of their me, first few games. I forgot what he showed me. I think I was watching him. I remember him. He was playing maybe Final Fantasy VII. Maybe. He was playing some sort of Final Fantasy game. I was like, what the heck? He just had a, just a shit ton of video games. I was like, he was like Mom, I need a place. <laughs> like, I need a PlayStation. And um, and I remember like them them hanging out in the backyard and just me just playing fucking video games. Like he's, my uncle's just like, Hey, here you go. Just play, play whatever fucking, he just had a list of just video games. Just go, go crazy, bro. And I just, I just sat there and mom was like, Hey, we got to go. I was like, no. So is that why you're such a PlayStation fan? That I was like your first like home. That was like my first played? home. Yeah. Okay. That was my first, first like home console. Like I did at one point ask for a Nintendo, but 64, but at that time they're like, no dog. That shit's fucking Those expensive. Are expensive. Those yeah. are really expensive. So they laugh. They laugh. Everyone laughed at me. They're like, ha ha. No, I got something else. Um, and then uh, she's like that following Christmas. I think I got a maybe. I remember the order. I got a PlayStation, and then I played the hell out of Crash Bandicoot. Um, and then after that, um, they saw how much I loved. Like they, they tried to get me kicked. They tried to kick me out of the house. Like yo, go outside and play. I was like, no, fuck no. You crazy? I'm playing Crash Bandicoot too, man. I'm not, I'm not fucking leaving this game. Um, and then after that. Then I got uh, uh, Dreamcast came out. Shout out to Dreamcast. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's one of my. That's my that's, no lie, I think that's one of my favorite consoles of all time. Like I think I want to buy. I, I'm. I they're, might get another Dreamcast. Ooh, oh shit. They're cheap. They're like one twenty. They're not that expensive. But well, I want to see what happened to my Dreamcast because mm. I know I. It was at my grandmother's house with uh, the because me and my cousins we when when we got into like xbox or ps2 and all that stuff we left our dreamcast at my grandmother's house so every time we went over there we had something you know we had we left all of our older consoles there for the most part that's where my gamecube disappeared i don't know where any of my stuff is from all that stuff but me and my cousins combined our entire dreamcast collections so we have like you you, def- you had had marvel we had a sh- yeah we had marvelous capcom one is it still your two gr- huh still at your grandma's i don't know i have to ask her to you, see do you know how much marvel is going for a lot. I like know 200, that. 200. 2 to 300. For the Dreamcast? No. The game. The game. That's what I'm saying. For the Dreamcast. Yeah. yeah, yeah the for game it, for the Dreamcast. For the game yeah. for the, like 300. Three, really? Two. Dude, it's expensive. Because I went to my retro shop. They're like, I was like, oh, how much is that? He's like, oh, let me see. 250. It's like, <laughs> it's wow. expensive. I, yeah, we did, we had Marvel's Capcom 2. I had number one. And then I had, it. I also had the other one that came after the Dreamcast. It was like uh, Street Fighter versus Marvel or Street. It was. I think SNK. Or, uh, yeah, that's SNK, uh, SNK versus Capcom versus, yeah. 2 yeah. Millennium, 2000 yeah. or something yeah. like that. That game was fucking that dope. That game was fire. Yeah. That game was pretty fire. I played briefly, not not too much. Again, my friend. Power Stone. I had Power, Power Stone. Stone on there. You need to fucking yeah. find I got to find my Dreamcast. You need to find your shit, man. Yeah. And then I had all, we had six controllers because we had my three and their three. So we had a total of six controllers. Oh, yeah, and we all right. had the VMUs, the, 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 the VMUs. The virtual memory units that went oh, into the fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. We had all, bro. Oh, Dreamcast is dope. We had the light gun because we had um, House of the Dead two. I had the keyboard for Typing of the Dead. I, it's all it's somewhere in my grandpa. So for house. house of the Dead two, I didn't have the light gun, so I was using the controller. The controller to it was trash. The light gun eventually broke, and that's how we all we played, which was with the controllers. But with the light gun, that show was so much fun. Um, Blue Stinger. I had a whole bunch of games. Sonic Adventure. So, I had Sonic Adventure <laughs> one and two, those, and I know life those games. Those games are those. Those were probably Maybe. one of my greatest uh, – in that time frame of my age were probably mm. my favorite game. I remember seeing that game at GameStop when they had kiosks and stuff like that there. Sonic Adventure. I'm like, what the hell is – whoa, this is – Yeah, bro. Fight Night, Ready to Rumble. Well, Ready to Rumble? Ready, Ready to Rumble. Ready to Rumble. I remember it everyone. Man. Yeah, but I mean – I don't mean to jump back to – I had, I got – I was lucky growing up because my dad and my uncle – were gigantic gamers oh. and so was my aunt okay. like like my that generation of my parents or my of my dad they're all big and to today they're all they're, they're all that's pretty big cool. gamers that uh, um they were and it was funny because my uncle my dad and my aunt were um pc and console gamers oh. so they used to play like Diablo together. Jeez, point all and click adventure of yeah, Diablo. Po- they used to play Fuck. Titans Quest, all, like all those older games, Mystic and stuff like that on the PC. <sighs> point and click adventures. Um, Fuck yeah. man. They used to, they so I got into a lot of them and then um growing up, I want to say when I was like in middle school, um my uncle worked at EB Games. Shout out to EB Games. So he was he was one of the store managers there. So I remember um for gifts he would send me like games and manuals i remember one time he sent me like 40 game manuals um like you know like the 
the guides. Okay, yeah, yeah, he yeah. sent me like 40 guides, and I only own like five of the games for the guides he sent me. But I remember I used to just read through all of them. Like, and then whenever I would go visit, I used to work with him at the store. So what he would do was he would set me up either on the front where the um, demo consoles okay, were yeah. or in the back. And just go ham. Pick a game. Go there. Like, all, all right. right. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, Let me go. So. I guess no one in my household really was – Sure, gamers. Besides my uncle, like he was the only person. I was like, I was like, yo, let me go, to uncle. Let me go to uncle's house all the time. And then they gradually found out, like, hey, this kid likes video games a lot. And then uh, just just went uphill from there. And then I got PlayStation Two. I was like, what the fuck? That was the like, easy. That was an easy cop. That was easy because like ninety nine dollars back then. So yeah. like that was chump change. Plus it's a DVD player. So they're like, oh, okay, yeah. it's a win win situation. That is, that's what like blew or like made PS2 because a lot of people that didn't play video games got bought it just because of the, the DVD, DVD player. player. Yeah, I think that, I can think it's still the most high selling. It's the best selling console best of all time. All time. Yeah. I think I think PS I could be wrong. PS5 is creeping up. It's either PS5 or or Nintendo's creeping up there. One of those two becoming the all time. Not in units sold. Maybe I, in money. Okay. But units sold. Units sold. Okay. Uh, fucking I, PS2 yeah, sold. Yeah, like dude. So, like I'm gonna double check those numbers. Okay. I, I could have sworn it, something might beat it. I think it's PS5, but I could be fucking wrong. But maybe you're, you're, you could be right. Um, I'll get back to, to you guys with that. Um, and my, also, my uncle had a PC as well, but I didn't really dabble into that. I, re- I remember him playing um, Eve Online. I was like, oh shit! Oh wow! Uh, I was like, I was like, oh, what is this game? He's like, oh, it's a PC game, you know, playing Eve Online. He's like, yeah, it's gonna take me an hour to travel the galaxy. I'm like, wait, what? Like, it's taking a legit hour. I remember my aunt and my uncle used to always play uh, dungeon crawlers together. Nice, like like Diablo style okay, games okay. and stuff like that. They used to play that shit all the time, um, and I remember when I would visit my aunt or my grandparents because my aunt lived uh, relatively like near, in the same building, pretty much in New York. Um, she had her Super Nintendo there with all my dad's like old Super Nintendo games and stuff like that because my grandma still had a lot of that stuff. And I remember that's where I started playing like the Chrono Triggers and stuff like that with you know, my dad and stuff like that because he had them over there and I was just. Chrono Trigger. I'd be there for vacation and like that's a, like video games or like go to town. That's the RPG one. Yeah, yeah. Chrono Trigger. Yeah, Chrono yeah, okay, Trigger. Okay, RPG okay. One I'm thinking of uh, what am I thinking of? The shooting. And then my dad actually working at EB Games, I found one of my favorite games in the PS2 era. A game called Magic Pendul. You ever heard of that game? Oh, man. It's Magic? like Magic. It's it I would consider it a hidden gem because it did it didn't have a lot of it. I think it was made by Atlas. Um shit. It's basically, I think the spirited successor of it is Graffiti Kingdom, which I think was a little bit more popular than Magic Pendulum. This is PS2. PS2 era, yeah. Fuck. And basically, you had like this, you, you, you're, you land, you, you're this, you never see who you really are, but you're a character that has a, a, an out, I would say like an avatar that you actually get to control a bit, and it's called a Pendulum, and you land in the land of color, pretty much, and you draw like 3D. Whatever the fuck you want to draw, pretty much. But they're like, it's like Pokemon. They fight. So you draw, you, you design this character, this monster. You, um, and you walk, instead of having like in a Pokeball, they're in books. So, um, maybe I, I gotta see, I gotta look it up. It's, yeah. The game's amazing. Um, and at, uh, at, towards the end, the fucking level of difficulty picks up like crazy. Um, but yeah, you go to battle all the other people's creations. And then you get better at designing characters as as you progress in the game. Your pendul starts to like I would say like evolve and grow because it, it, it looks like a little baby with a paintbrush on its head. And it, the more you get, it has paintbrushes on it. It's it's like a little fairy pretty much that everyone has. Um, it's I may not I, be I, doing the game justice how I'm explaining it, uh, but that game is amazing. And because then you can do two players, so you can you and your buddies can create, or if they have the game, they can bring their memory card over, and then you can set your teams of six, and then fight each other out huh i, I maybe because all i remember playing is metal gear ps2 devil may cry for a little bit and airy 51 oh but, Area 51 i play hardcore oh man i played that online yeah Area that, was, that was my first online like i had to buy an adapter and internet and it was trash my, my dad stepped that out he he routed uh, ethernet to my room I was like, yeah let's go let's, let's go so, Area 51 was fun as that fuck, shit was bro. fucking that Great. my my and uh, Final Fantasy X I played hard. Battlefield, not bad company. Battlefield, Modern Combat on the PS2. That game was fucking amazing. Do you remember the Medal of Honor's on the PS2? Great. Those are great. Pretty good too. Good Those story. Story. St- fucking 
man. Man, we're going down nostalgia lane here. For all those, like said, all those wanted, people that are listening and, and have played these games. I, just like, w- I wanted to do something different. Uh, see how, what got us into gaming. That was, that was my mind. I was like, oh, I wonder how he, what, what would this step said? Gibby got into games. Because I remember Ryan was. But that was it. Like I said, it was me playing. Like I said, the, the console and the game that got me into gaming was Sonic Adventure. Not Sonic Adventure. Sonic, Sonic the Adventures. Hedgehog 2 <laughs> um, and Sonic the Hedgehog 1 on the Sega Genesis. And okay. from there, it just, just went blew up. Because a lot of my a lot of my consoles that I would get were hand me downs, like for um, from my dad or my uncle, okay. or um, or like like I said, for my birthday, my entire family would try to pitch in together to get me something. Because also, my brother got into gaming too because of it, because of me, pretty much. Um, and they they would get us both a console as both of our gift. So like. Okay, like the I was PS2. Like, man, that's I was like, I said one each. No, so the, like the PS2 was like, oh, that's easy. It was that's my easy. console, but it was like me and my brother's console. Like okay. the N64 was technically my console, but my brother played a lot with it. How too, much was the 64? I forgot. I, I was a kid. I brought it. I remember. I remember. I, I, I remember looking up video games. It might have been like two, three hundred bucks, four hundred bucks maybe. So like nineteen ninety nine. That's like a thousand dollars. Not thousand dollars, but like it's like maybe eight hundred bucks now. Something like that. With yeah. inflation, yeah, I don't know yeah, how. Yeah calculate inflation right now off the top of my head but yeah. it was pretty expensive back in the day but that's why that, and that's how i used to get like all my games would be like for my birthday i got one game one video game that was it one or two video games and that was it <laughs> and um but it was cool because i would get like my mom my grandma they would pitch in to get me one video game my uncle would get me a video game so i was able to get like multiple ones that okay. i wanted throughout the, uh, on those events but it wasn't like i was going out getting 40 games at yeah, one time, yeah. you know what I mean? So I had to kind of pick and choose what games I, I, I Yeah, I did the, I did a lot of chores for for my games and shit like. I remember I remember my, the, the most the most a memory that sticks out to me it was Jer- uh, Grand Theft Auto was coming out, all right? Vice City. Oh, came. you showed me that trailer. Yeah, uh, yeah. what would you think? What would you think? I get it. Imagine, imagine, bro. It was a good trailer. Yeah, I we uh, if you don't know, I showed him the uh, the the GTA 3. GTA 3 trailer. Yeah. He Glad you're impressed. Again, keep in mind that like, Grand Theft Auto was a two top down, you know. I remember two. playing those too. Yeah. So like for that to be its first open world game on the PlayStation Two, like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Um, but Vice City came out, and then San Andreas was like, I was like, I was like, I had no money. I'm like, and I was a, I was a broke kid. I was in school. And I was like, I was trying to do chores. Actually, I wasn't doing chores. I was like, I'm not gonna do. It. <laughs> I'm not doing chores. Uh, give me this video game. You know like, what I used to do to make money sometimes in, in school? I used to go to like uh, Sam's Club or Costco and buy like the uh, candy. The, the candy. Man, you're a hustler. So, See, I, wasn't, I was a hustler, I, I wasn't, son. I was. I had to think outside the box. So, so uh, uh, I told my dad, I was like, I was like, can I get GTA? He's like, you got, you got to work for me. Or do, I was like, nah, I don't want to do that. And then, um, then I was like. I, f- I forgot how it came down. I was like, I was like, yo, I'll eat something. You'll Hot. eat something. I'll, I'll eat something. He's like, oh, like a bet. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'll eat something. No, uh, uh, hot. He's like, no, no, too easy. I'm like, all right, cockroach. He's like, you're not gonna do it. I'm like, yes, I am. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a cockroach. I was like, if I eat cockroach, you could buy me San Andreas. He's like, you're not gonna do it. I'm like, yes, I am. I was like, find me a cockroach. I'm gonna do it. All right. Mom, my mom found. I, pretty sure she has this video somewhere. I want. I, I need it. I need it. I need. And he <laughs> ate it. Uh, I ate it. How was it? It was crunchy. <laughs> was it gross? It was. I was like, <laughs> uh, I ate it. I, he, I got mom for the video. Someone has that video, and I'm gonna put it in, in okay. here. I'll give me a couple of days or weeks, but I ate it, got it, and it was. It was. It was. It was. It was all right. It wasn't that bad. I, I did. You got a game it. out of it. So Hell yeah! It. That was the only time I did it. I was like, never again. Now I have money. I can buy any games and not play them. So. I got the last laugh. I know exactly um, how that feels. Quick side note. Yeah. Quick, quick. I've been bugging you for the past couple of days um, saying if I should buy Skyrim. Should I buy Skyrim? It's, it's 20. It's 20. It's 20. It's 20. It's 20 bucks right now for the upgraded version. It's 50. I'm the worst person after that. <laughs> All right. As we discuss, I think we discussed it last podcast. You own Skyrim. And you own Skyrim Remastered. Yes. Yes, I do. And you only have like an hour played in each. Uh, an hour? The, the first one, probably three hours. And uh, the, the, the... So the, what the, the fuck is The it? anniversary is 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes. No. No? Okay. No. Make, I was just making sure. Um, if, what if it's on sale? Should I... Can, can, am I allowed to... <sighs> hmm. How, 
No. No? Okay. No. Okay. All right. Just making sure. No. Nah. If, if you were telling me, can I guess, if, I want to get the VR version of it. Then you say yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's right. a different experience. That's, yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's completely, completely different. Like. Okay. Yeah. Right. I found a loophole yeah. now. I, I didn't even uh, shout out to uh, Ricky. Who's, yes. It was an email that he sent mm-hmm. out, right? Um, I didn't even know that game was in VR. So I looked it up. It looks pretty yeah, cool. cool. I, I, so, if, yeah. I, I realistically, I'd probably get that before I buy it. You know what I also saw that made it into a VR? Side note. Uh, uh, Resident Evil 4? Alien Isolation. I thought there's, there's been a... F- no, there's a fan-made mod really? that made that game. I didn't know Could it was s- in VR. Huh. And everyone says it's fucking I bet. nightmarish. I bet. Like, I didn't know a lot... Because I, I beat the game. I enjoyed the game. I was terrified of the game. I didn't know a lot of people have not beaten the game because how scared they were of that. Really? Game. Yeah. Like I was that. reading through comments and like I was reading through... Um, like reviews and stuff like that, like on Steam and mm-hmm. like other websites, and it was, a lot of people were like, "Was it was it jokey? Was, was it jokey or like sincere?" No, like it was like sincere. Okay. They're like, it, it gave me too much anxiety, um, and like other shit. I was like, "Damn!" Because you can't really fight back. That's the thing. No, that's that's what makes it terrifying. Like yeah, you can only out. hide, and then when you're sitting inside a fucking like a locker trying to hold your breath, and he's like sitting there and he goes away, you think uh, you're fucking safe, then he he hears you. Oh yeah, it's it, oh shit. Yeah, it gets pretty. Um, terrifying that's i think the androids terrify me more than the fuck i've seen them those androids are fucking terrifying um i do want to i still i still want to play uh resident evil 6 in vr i heard that's definitely the way to go village or is that the no that's the the one before biohazard biohazard Biohazard, right that one um i want to play that i heard that's like that's definitely the way to fucking go like you need to that's ps4 exclusive correct yeah okay but we'll we'll see i don't know maybe i'll give it another year or so I still need to get a VR like. I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about it lately. I'm like, it's been on my mind a lot, a lot. Um, I I do want to maybe in here or get a PlayStation. Probably get, probably get one in my room because there's only one game I want to play for the VR unit. I I want to see what Sony has to present. Uh, Some more games. I know there's some games, but nothing really appealed. Again, the most appealing one is Resident Evil. Other than that. I might get one in here. Maybe we'll, we'll see. I have, the, I have the PC. Like all you need to do is buy the headset, and like that's that's my. I know my PC can run that, so we'll see. But yeah, that's uh how we got into video games. Cool, yeah. awesome, great. Just switching it up, you know. I got you, man. Ch- change, change. I'm always up. down for new segments. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. to know us a little better. What, what's what's the motto? Join us on this journey. What's the motto? Join the journey, baby. Join the journey. Put your Join phone on journey. silent. <laughs> Where's, I, I, I was it's looking right, for it. Where it's, is it? It's right. Oh, that's what I told you to do before it was charging. Uh, that thing is popping off. Right I know. Now. What the heck is that noise? I keep hearing it. That's why I, you see me looking around. I'm yeah. like, where's my phone? <laughs> uh, let's get into some video games. We got we got some games for you guys. Who wants to mirror you? I, I, I'll start off. You start, you, yeah, you start. So I beat Dread. Woo! Game number one. Metroid Dread. What do you think? Fuck that last boss. Let me tell you. I thought. I didn't have too much problem with any of the bosses, I think, throughout the game. But, I mean, spoiler alerts if you guys haven't played the game. Spoiler, that spoiler, last spoiler. Boss, are you, you going to spoil it? Well, all right. You I'm, giving, s- I'm giving an option. In in, in the Wherever you're listening to this, there's going to be a snippet that says spoilers, and we're going to try to, like, you can try to skip past that. If, I'll, is I'll that possible? A, I'll, I can do it in timestamps. Like a little timestamp. Like, hey, time like, like, hey, this is where we're going to spoil right, it, whatever. So if you're spoilers, listening to this. Spoilers. Spoilers. Spoilers to this. Spoilers. Or skip ahead. Give it a few. Give it. Give it a few. Give it a few. Where is my my pad? My my notepad. If you see it. If not, then I'll I'll improvise real quick. Don't worry about it. You see it? All right. Yes. Give me that notepad. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. I'm gonna do another bit. All right. Spoilers. Go. All right. So. You fight. Uh, what's his name? Raven Black. Ra- no, Ra- Raven Beak. Yeah, Raven Beak. 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 Yeah. You fight Raven Beak as the last boss, which everyone anticipated, right? Not me. I, I knew he was going to be the last boss. <laughs> I didn't expect him to have three fucking phases he Bro, has to go through. I was for, I, I had a, I had an inkling. I was like, this is kind of, I was like, this is, something, something's going to pop off. At first I thought too, it was like a definitely second form. I, I wasn't anticipating the I would have said form. the third form, I was like, at the third form I had one bar left. And I'm like, oh. fucking one hit takes like half a bar. So I'm like, oh my God. And that's why I explored. I got health. I got a lot of missiles. You, Mister. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I still beat it, right? <laughs> I'm just saying need, it was challenging. It I needed was those. Hard. I needed to take those hits. Like the, that first phase of that that boss, I was just like, 
<laughs> just shooting those missiles and then how did you, how did you do additional damage to him like what was that sequence did you did you figure that out because yeah all right so you're talking about when it has like this cut scene yeah then it's so a, you have to um parry him when he's about to hit you i did that and then just he keep hitting your missiles because i think there's two motions where he parries you you keep doing it and then you parry again and you could at that point the animation continues and you just sit there just hammering him with the fucking missiles okay pretty much because like it, it when i did that it was just it was one sequence but if you don't keep missling him i think the sequence ends you have to keep giving doing damage the whole okay. time you're doing it because i was like i was like oh when it first happened i was like popped off. i was like oh oh go 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 and i and after that sequence i still have my full bar so i had full bar second phase i was like all right Bet. Let's go. And that second phase fucked me up because I hated the jumping. At first, no. It took me a while. The space jumping? I did. It took me a while uh, because uh, when he shoots around you, I didn't know what to do. I was like, this, like, this is impossible. You had to go around him. I was like, this is impossible. I was like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? So I kept dying at that part over and over and over again. I'm like, this is fucking dumb. And I was like, I'm about to quit. I'm about to fucking quit. And I was like, told myself, I was like, no, 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 no. Take a break. And so I took a break. Took a break. And I was like, ding, 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 ding hover around okay. him i was like all right cool so, i will say this though um doubling back to what you mentioned i think it was in the last podcast or the two podcasts before when we were talking about dread mm -hmm. the double jump is trash fucking useless trash why I didn't he just give you the space jump to begin with i have you tell me you're the metro oh my god i was like because you, you you literally use the double jump for an hour and then you gain the space jump right afterwards i was like this was fucking yeah. worthless like and then you're right to time them was a Pain oh sometimes, dude. Like I had easier time um, timing the space jump than I did the double jump. Wait, what space jump? I'm confused. Where you could just keep jumping and jumping and jumping. Oh, that, that, That's that. called the space jump. Uh, I still didn't like it. I still hate no, no, it. I the if you got the timing the first time, uh, every timing after that was easy. I still fucked. Up. Oh, really? All right. <laughs> just, I, I, uh, again, I'm just so used to just. A regular double jump. Just have Samus a regular fucking double jump. Not at this, the very end of the. Don't give me like jump, then time it. I'm like, what the? F I that I, I found that useless because you see, don't really use see, it. The timing part on the space jump, I had no issues with it. It was the timing on the du the double jump that mm. could, would throw me off. Because sometimes I'm trying to double jump and I'm in the middle of a boss fight and I don't jump and I'll keep I'll get hit. I'm like, oh my god, and I'll try to do it again and yeah. Uh, still talking about yeah, we're still in sport territory. Um. Back, back, back up a little bit. How was that lava boss for you? Because that, that, which lava boss? The lizard, the lava lizard, where you had to jump through, where he, uh, uh, we had to uh, get the generators to get back going. The generators getting going. Yeah, because like, oh, the robots like hey, everything's frozen, and then you have to go back to the generator and like that little lava thing. Is it that creature that shoots shit out of his belly button? Not him. The other one. Fuck, I gotta, I gotta look it up. Cause, well, that one had to do deal with deal with double jump because he would uh, suck you in, and when he sucked you in, he would throw shit at you, and you had to do that double, you had to do that jump phase. I, I don't think I had trouble with him. I, no. like, like I said, the the it, I, I did because again the, the jumping, I was like, I was like, I need to fucking beat the ones him that real I had quick. trouble with, and it was because I didn't, I knew the pattern of it, but it, I was fucking struggling with it. It was when you would do the uh, the burst missiles. And you're fighting the two uh, metal cho uh, chorizo brothers, and yet and you had to defeat one. Of that one will fuck me up a little bit. I was ready to quit that part. <laughs> yeah. I was ready. To, uh, I, I didn't have enough chance to fucking charge it up and shoot him. I was like, huh? What what break are they giving me as I'm going around? So I found out that you had to, like I found out that the moment you enter that area and they're coming onto the map, it, you can do uh, quite a bit of damage to one of the brothers that was closest to you. Mm. So I was just focusing on one guy the that's whole what, time. That's what I had to do. Yeah. I had to, uh, uh, again, that fucking double, I kept mistiming my jump and then they would fucking just juggle me in a corner. I'm just like, I was like, yo, fuck this game, man. That part, I, that part almost made me quit and the final boss made me almost quit. But, um, uh, fuck that game. That game's cool though. It's uh, good. That it's game, good. that game's really, really, it's really great. Good. Um, I enjoyed my time with it. Uh, uh, that last, the last, last phase of that boss was fucking trash because you have to focus on him and at the same time focus on that fucking sun that's beaming out. Yeah. And I was like, what the, f yo, yo, 
Stop. It's stop. And it does so much damage. Ooh, like I said, that's why I had to explore. I couldn't. I couldn't do what you did. Uh, but it, and that last part where you you so do you get the ending? Like I, I, I'm I'm you when man. you're running away. Uh, where where you find out that you're the daughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it canon or? Yeah, it's canon. This is it, all because it, it's. Like I said, I, I'm, this picks up after, so it's, it's zero mission, fusion, so you see everything else, uh, now you find out, because Samus is like a human, mm-hmm. but what human can fucking turn into a ball, think about it, and then go around? So she's she's a, her, she's not an actual human human, she just is, is a humanoid species. Okay. And I guess she, she's created by this raven beat guy. I'm, huh. I'm, I was cool with it. No, I was, I was like, oh shit, I didn't see that coming out at all. That last fight, I didn't see it coming either. Yeah, but that last fight was pretty cool, where you trans your whole suit transformed into that that thing. Like, that Whoa. thing was dope. <laughs> yeah, like laser, I was like, what the fuck is going on? That shit was <laughs> fucking cool. Uh, how was it? Did you have trouble with kind of the last Emmy that you fight in that small condensed area? Where yes, I that- had. I, I, it wasn't really much trouble. It just took me a few tries to get it. Mm. Um, but the issue was that. I had to cut it close both times. So like the the <laughs> when you have the first part of the Omega Cannon where you're trying to weaken the the, the helmet, mm-hmm. like I had to run away like three times, like because he'd get too close to me and I'm like, fuck, and I run away. And he, when by the time he gets to me, he's cooled off a bit. So it, I just had to wait till I timed it right. But then charging the Omega Cannon when he's coming at you was that was sus. was difficult. Yeah, because yeah. uh, uh, that took me a, a couple tries to do. Almost quit there as well. So like three or four times I came yeah. home and me quit. Uh, that's my train of thought. Uh, I, he caught me a couple times, but luckily I kind of parried out of it. I was like, oh, okay, and then did it. Those but, impossible yeah, parries. Sh- I kind of got it down a little bit, but not really. But other than that, uh, yeah, hell of a game. I, 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 I've been thinking about that game a lot lately, too. Kind of want to go back on hard mode uh, just to just for shits and gags, see if I can do it. And then, fucking cool game. I, I liked it a lot. Uh, hopefully there will be a sequel. Hopefully. If not, it's cool. I'm cool with that. There may be. Down the line. Down the line down, somewhere. Down the line. But it, it's great. Cause now that you've played, go back and play the other two. Play Zero Mission. Yeah. Play um, Fusion. And then I think. Are they on the Switch or anything? No. Somewhere easy. So I don't you're know. making me work for it. I might have to make you work for <laughs> okay. it. Uh, I think I may have them. Okay. Um, I think I may have them at home somewhere. Mm-hmm. I got I to gotta look. I'll let you know. But no, now now more open-eyed for a... Uh, Metro like games because I re-downloaded a Bloodstain. I was like, oh, let's fucking play. But I was like, oh, wait, 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 wait. give it a chance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give, well, I give it a wait. Like yeah, a, yeah. A I was like, because right, I do, I do want to get back and play that. Um, and and and, and go from there. I do want to play Ori as well and some other other Metroid games too. So, but yeah, so yeah, and, and Ori would be like I said. Or if in my opinion, Ori should be the next, um, one that you go through. Because the game itself is beautiful. The story is very a uh, beautiful story. The um, I, the animations on it, the uh, upgrades you get, everything about Ori is pretty good. Um, I feel like you. I have to play the second one. I still haven't played the second one, sadly. Um, but very enjoyable. Do you want me to move on to my second game? All right. So the second game is going to be something very unexpected. Mickey's Castle of Illusion, the remake for Steam, at least. I didn't play it on any of the consoles besides Steam. Um, my daughter is a big fan of Mickey. She loves Mickey a lot. Um, and every time she sees Mickey, she always has to point Mickey out. So I was like, fuck, I forgot I had Castle of Illusion. So I sat down and played like two hours with her. Um, and she just sat there and watched like it was a show. <laughs> um, and it was really good. The original game was a Sega Genesis um side scrolling uh, platformer um from what my wife said was there's no there was no save files on that one or like uh, you what? know how, uh, m- remember how remember a lot of those old games there weren't should, any well, saves go. so then how many levels were there then uh, for the sega how there's did, eight levels you just gotta go you just gotta go yeah I'm and, stock and up there's on three lives. acts in each level there's a, act one act two and the boss act okay um so the the remake itself, they did an amazing job with the remake. They they were able to bring in new like visual elements and everything else, but still keep the same feel of the original game. Um, and if you like platformers and just like if you want a quick platform just to go through, perfect game. I highly recommend it. I had a lot of fun going through. Playing it. on the PC, on right? Steam, yeah, Steam? on PC, okay. yeah, yeah. 
So those those are the two games I actually went through um, or beat. And then the last game I was I'm, I'm currently playing now is Katana, uh, not Zero. Neon. Katana Zero. Zero. Katana Zero. Zero. Um, that game's cool. That game is. It's really 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 cool. Damn. Super super short. Sweet. It's sweet. you're in and out, but it's so cool. Challenging. Uh, like uh, I love this. The 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 one of my favorite aspects of it is the music. Music's stellar. It's a stellar. It kind of reminds me of Hotline, Hotline Miami, but not really. This is a, a side side scrolling. Side scrolling games, not nothing top down view, not really. It's pixelated, but not as pixelated as Hotline Miami. Um, still good, one hit kill scenario. So you gotta like one hit death too. Yeah, yeah. you gotta plan out your attacks and like kind of in advance. Like, all right, let me, I can I can kind of parry. I can parry the bullet and slash him out, and then I, all right, gotta jump over here and do some cool shit. I forgot you were playing it more. Um, was there power ups or is this all single? It's just, it's just you. That's I, skill it's a, level, right? So far, I'm at. It's only you. The only power you get is when you kind of like learn how to use the ability. I didn't know I could do the bullet time thing where yes. you slow everything down and then yes. they tell you, "Hey, you could do that." I was okay. Like, oh, I didn't know I could do that. Okay. Um, and then the other one would be the uh, uh, what's it called? Like I didn't know you could grab items and throw them until yeah. they tell you. So yeah, it, yeah. It, it's more of not power ups, but they kind of like tell you what you could use to. Fulfilled, didn't know. really use much of the throwing aspect. I was just more. Like, I use that shit a lot. I, I, I almost I, never use bullet time. That's the other thing I got to get used to. I think I use more bullet time than throwing stuff because, like, all right, I got. I'm just. I'm ready to just slash you and just go slow down. Boom, 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 boom. Do some crazy shit. Yep. Yeah, the bullet time. I don't know if it always drains that fast. For me, it drains fast as hell. I, I can't. Man, this game is only came out what 2017. I think I believe so. Yeah. yeah. So it's been a while, but. I can't remember off the top of my head. I can't remember if it drained it that fucking quick, but I think I think you're right. I think it did drain it fairly quick because I just remember just just get good. That's all you need to do. Yeah, just, get, just get good. Get, get yeah, good. You or just got to get good, and you got to know where the layout of the, the enemies are as you're running through it, so you kind of prepare on how you're gonna take them down. How was your the laser uh, level for Fuck you? Fuck them lasers. I kept. There's this one mission where you had to go from. You start off like you come out of the elevator, then you jump down, and there's two two enemies there you kill them then you basically got to get to the other end and this guy's about to jump off a roof and you're supposed to kill him or let him jump when you come back you can just come back and go through but if you forget to fucking turn off the lasers as you're running through you don't see them zzz, die restart the whole stage that happened to me fucking three times in a row where i'm like yeah there's no there's no checkpoint there's no there's checkpoint there's yeah it's like gotta restart you gotta the restart whole the whole level game. i was like what the hell but it entices you to get again get, get good. good get good or get yeah. fucked one of those two that's that's cool. Did you pick up on sale or anything? Or was it is it 15, right? It, I think it was part of my Humble Bundle. Okay. So, uh, shout out to people that have Humble, Humble Bundle. I think it was like 2 months ago it was on there. Dope. Um like I like I highly recommend it, especially like I, t- I first episode Budget Gamer. Mm-hmm. If you're trying to play some games, you don't mind them being a little bit old and some new cuz they do drop some pretty fairly new no, games. No, they do. Some, I, I told you yeah. like my the best Humble um, Bundle I got was Destiny 2 for free. Yeah. Like, right, so, cool. um that one is it's a, it's a good subscription to have because they give you a lot of uh, interesting games to play through. Um, that's where I got the Neon Abyss. Yeah. I think that was Hell last game. month. That was one Hell of the games game. for Neon Abyss. So highly recommend it. But, yeah, that's where I got the game from. Cool. What about you? What games have you been playing, Mr. Man. Bryceo? Uh, so I played Forza 5. How was it? It's I, I can't. I still need to sink some more time because one game I'll talk about in a minute sink, sunk a lot of time. But, um. I was. It's been a long time since I played like a good arcade racer. Shout out to Burnout Paradise. Like the, that's like the best. That's fucking, the best. That's like there's nothing. I'll fight. That's that's one game. That's one of the best arcade racers ever. Of all time. Yeah. Nothing has came close. Let me take it back. Horizon has is is the closest that uh, is, has came to. But um, so I was in a, definitely in the mood. It's on free for Game Pass. Um. Or you can purchase it. One of the two. I have Game Pass. It's on PC, console, whatever. You know, Game Pass. It's on Game Pass. Um, played it. Um, I was thinking because I played Horizon One. I was like, "Yo, this game's pretty cool," but I, I didn't really follow through with it. I was like, "All right, whatever." Hopped off kind of fairly early, and it's been like I have a, I have a huge gap of, of arcade racing, um, and it's cool. It's set in uh, Mexico. Um, it's a festival, you know, EDC type shit. I'm like, "All right, sure, whatever." Um, I hear the game visually looks great too I'm right play, like play, the area where you're at like you were saying the edc and everything mm-hmm. yeah. i am playing on the pc it looks gorgeous you know there's no really ray tracing or anything uh no frame rates or whatever whatever um uh, I, I, i've been hearing people on their xbox it looks beautiful just as well so like i'm not really 
I feel like consoles aren't missing out, and PC, obviously PC's not missing out, but console, uh, the console version, people aren't really missing out. It looks fucking gorgeous, too. I'm like, damn, they did, you know, first-party game. Um, races are cool. Um, it's not arcade enough for me. It really, it really isn't. I, again, I, arcade enough in the feel of the driving, or so in the- it's it's an in between because I like what they're doing. Um, if you want that hor- Forza hor- like original hor- Horizon like car feel, it has that aspect of it. Like you can tinker okay. with your your settings. Like, hey, I want realistic driving, bada bing, bada boom, shit like that. Or if you just want to just leave it as your settings is, um, there is a, a, a the arcade feeling. It's 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 a nice in between act. Again, I'm more of an arcade person i don't want that simulation if i did i would want to play forza horizon original or gran turismo you know or, or another simulation game gran like turismo is my favorite um so uh is, it, is this the is there an open world aspect it's, to yeah, it, open right? world, yeah so you, what are you doing you just is it like midnight club where you're driving around a city mm-hmm. pretty uh, much well, drive around mexico day there is i don't think there's a day night cycle there's a day cycle there's a well, continuously day um i think the only cool thing that i really really like is um there is a dirt races, uh, so you're like, going you're like, going off road like basically. rally rally races. Yeah, you're going. Those are my favorite. So those are races. Pretty, yeah, so okay. those like there there is drifting races. There is regular races. You know, driving your Lambos and like extremely fast cars. Um, I don't want to say drifting racing. Um, your regular races, your circuit races. So but are like, you driving on the street or is it like tracks? For which one? Forza. Um, it's all, all like the races that you're talking races, about. Are uh, the races a, like street races or it's, the, it's a mix? It's a mix. Also, oh, it's a mix of both. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, well, f- for the drifting and regular, you're on sh- you're on streets. But for the rally races, you're mostly like, hey, start off in the street and like, oh, we're going off path and like doing some crazy ill jumps and stuff okay. like that. So I've been liking that that part of the game. But for the arcade racing part, I'm just like, um, it, it doesn't. M- maybe I'm this is just me because I, I played the burnout series and I played a lot of arcade from like what would be your runner up to burnout then that you would uh need for speed need for speed so is this more need for speed arcadey than like okay you know how like need for speed also had that element of track and rate like, yeah it, like they kind of fell off like the closest like the last need for speed i didn't really like either i was like this isn't feel okay right as well it still has that arcade feel but it's this it's not there for me because it still felt simi simi in, in, in a way um I might fall off Horizon a little bit, but I want I want to do give it another shot. shot. Yeah, I want to put more more time into it. Um, I find it really weird that there's an XP system in this game, <laughs> where it's like uh, you level up your car or something. You level it your or your driver. You're you're leveling up so you can buy perks for something, but like it really is. You said point- parts or perks? Perks, perks, perks. Like, so the vehicles have perks too. So like, hey, you get more XP for winning races, but you don't really need xp because you're going to gain if you want to play this game on hard you're going to gain more xp on playing on hard or more more simu- simulate style racing okay. that gives you like that so i rather just do the grind because eventually i'm just going to uh, uh 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 upgrade my my porsche that i just bought to like s rank so i don't really need it to it doesn't, that part too it doesn't really entice you to drive other cars unlike you know burnout paradise i'm not trying to compare them but totally different fucking games but this is like the closest it feels like it because in burnout i drove numerous fucking cars it's like hey they, they kind of encouraged you to drive like hey this car is only meant for good crashing or or, or this car is really good for just speed racing mm-hmm. you know this game just like hey you're starting off car you can just you can upgrade that and just use that for the rest of the fucking game which is not a problem which is cool but at the same time i do like it when they kind of push you in a in a way to drive other vehicles to, yeah because yeah. there are cool other cars like i can fucking drive the 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 what's the halo car what's the halo car the warhog i can drive the warhog if i really want to in yeah. the game yeah that's pretty dope yeah so uh but it, again there's really entice you to do to do that um but other than that, I I, I, I can't really say much because I only put like maybe two or three hours into it because I kind of I was like this. Give it a solid eight. Yeah, I, I do want to try it out again. It's on Game Pass, um, but it's it's missing that arcadey feel that I I personally want. Then again, I'm 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 trying to look for I'm hoping for another burnout, but we'll probably never get another burnout. We'll get remakes for, of Paradise. Fuck, that's what we've been I don't mind that. that. Yeah. Uh, that's been on mine too lately. Um, so I played that. Uh, played a little bit of Jurassic World. I was like, oh, this game is ready to do some dinosaurs. Uh, I thought Chris Pratt was in that game, but he's not. It's just a, it's just a voice like. I was uh, like, this is, <laughs> this is like, something's off. This is. What the- did they use to build upon from the first game? Did they add anything that was like ultimately that different? I can't say, really, because I only put not that much time in in uh, because when we when we talked about 
when I started playing uh, Evolution, like two months later, two was coming out, so I didn't put that much time into gotcha, it. Gotcha, gotcha. So I can't okay. really compare. Like the only thing I notice is there's a story mode, which is pretty fun. Um, the dinosaurs are cool. You can pick between uh, the campaign mode, where it's uh, Jurassic World, where you, you play through that campaign. It's like kind of different scenario, whatever. And then there's a what if scenario for the Jurassic uh, Park. So you're playing Jurassic Park World. Like the original? Original, like one, two, and three. Really? So you're playing like, hey, what if this, what if everything was okay in Jurassic Park? And nothing, nothing crazy. Like you have, basically have everything under control. You have, um, fuck, I haven't came across Dr. Grant yet. Hopefully he's in there. Um, but you came across the, the head honcho dude with the white hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him, he's in it. Um, the doctor. Goldblum's uh, character? Not Goldblum. The other doctor, the, 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 the part where he, he, he's hatching an egg. The raptor egg? Oh, Dr. Wu. Yeah, Wu. Him. He's in it. Um, and that's it. Uh, I have some raptors uh, that I came across, that I, that I made in my, my park. And that's about it, really. Uh, dabbled into that. And then um, then I did, because uh, I, like, I like having stars in, in my scenario. So they're, they're, they took that out, but they replaced it with, with a different, the same scenario, but you're timed. And I hate being timed. Mm. So I was like, Oh, so I played it with a little, little bit because it said I thought it said hey get five stars in three minutes so I was like ah <laughs> I don't know if I can do that it's gonna be hard but it's realistically get five stars in uh, three hours uh. and I'm like oh okay I think I can do that so I I like that mode more than the campaign the campaign's alright it's whatever but I again haven't played too much of it because of this one game I'm about to talk about right now in a second uh, it's been taking so much time um, but overall, I'm still enjoying it. I, I definitely want to get back into those two games, uh, Forza and Jurassic World. Phenomenal. Not phenomenal. Jurassic World's phenomenal. I'm not having a fucking blast. Again, for thank you for getting me to that fucking game. I got you, bro. <laughs> game. Um, and my last game, I have been playing fucking great game. You know me. I don't. You got me to building. You got me to uh, Metroid. Don't really care for deck building games. But I was like, fuck it. I played a few with you, you know, at your house. Live deck building games, live, too. Yeah, live, like actual li li board was, game, what is tabletop. It? D D DC. DC. We, we played, played DC deck building. We yep. played Lord of the Rings yep. deck building. But the f I own all three. Yeah. So we played the Fellowship of the Ring. And I think you were there when we played the Two Towers one, which has the Helm's Deep um, part of version of fuck. it. I don't remember. I, re I definitely remember the Lord of the Rings and DC. But DC is the one that we played the most. Yeah, that I like that one, one a lot. Because yeah. um, we were working together, but not really working together. I'm like, all right, this is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, I'm going to cool fuck concept. you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, we'll work together. <laughs> um, so uh, I, I, I saw this game. I listened to a podcast. I was like, this game's weird. I was like, okay. And and, and basically, Inscription. What's it so, called? Inscription. Okay. You need to fucking play this game. All right? Okay. It's a deck building game. Okay. Okay? You saw the trailer, right? Weird, yes, I was confused weird, by the trailer. Good, but yeah. perfect. I want you to go in blind. I went in blind as well. And I was like, oh, because I saw this at E3 a year ago. I, I blocked it out. In card game, I'm like, whatever, fuck this. Then uh, listen to a podcast, and then he broke it down, or uh, what this game was. And I was like, all right, cool. So, depth in the game, you are a person that I'm just going to talk about. I'm not going to do any spoilers. I'm just going to talk about what, what I experienced, and I'm, I'm going to kind of cut it off. So you don't ruin anything, I guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it very vague. Um, but the gameplay mechanic—I do like the gameplay mechanics of it. Um, so you're facing this weird, mystique dude that you can't really see. Like, like we're facing right now. Like you're you're in this cabin. Excuse me. We're in this cabin, and you can see him. And uh, 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 you have uh, a squirrel card, and you have you have like this um, squirrel as the animal. Squirrel? squirrel as an animal. So what you do with that is it's like your um, energy cards. So you have your energy cards, and then you have your, your deck card. And um, obviously, you know, if I want to use this card that has uh, – I need two sacrifices. So I need two squirrels. I put, place two squirrels, and I sacrifice them. I play the card, and I'll attack you and stuff like that. Um, and then you have a, a, your, your health meter uh, that, that when I attack uh, – <laughs> teeth go into it so 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 uh it's like a teeter-totter effect so like all right you i did i did two attack uh two teeth go in the meter and then like he if he attacks me three teeth in the meter so it's like a teeter-totter effect like this can go i had a match that lasted me 
for not not too long, but a couple couple minutes. They can go fairly quick or fairly long. Okay. Um, you have some defense cards that will um, will block an attack. I had a really, 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 really excellent run where. Also, let me back up a little bit. I'm gonna be all over the fucking place. If you have questions, ask ask. I had questions try. when you started talking. Go ahead. <laughs> What's your question? What do you mean by teeth and a meter? Like, are you taking hit points? Taking hit. That's your hit points equivalent. But you said that then the teeter totters on a scale. It's, it's, that's what I'm kind of confused. So on. you have a scale on the on the side right here. So uh, uh, um, no one really has like health. Like you have 100 HP. I have 100 HP. It's a you, the scale. The teeth is your currency. So so to weigh it in, you know, and then that that's about it. Okay, I have to play it to yeah. Yeah. Trying to explain it better. Um, I, the only way that's why is like there, there's no there's no health. No one health. Are you collecting it. teeth to get to? No, the te teeth are also your currency that you come across on the on the on the map where uh, you're kind of moving around. Like you're playing a card game, but actually you're, you're then you're playing another game. In a, <laughs> you're playing you're playing like another game. In a, <laughs> you're playing like another game in a game. So um, you're moving your character around on the map. So you have like all right. Hey, you have um, <laughs> your, your fucking. <laughs> um, when you're playing the game, you have like uh, you can either go to this one area okay. uh, on on okay. the board where it's like, hey, this is a currency. The teeth that you gain after defeating the the same dude that you're playing. Um, he's like, hey, give me you, give me like five teeth as your currency. You will get uh, uh another good playing card, and each playing card is like Pokemon, you know. And you need five, four sacrifices to 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 use this certain card. So let's say you have like uh, basic attack, basic attack, um, ba basically basic attack cards. You sacrifice it, boom, play on a map, do five attack, boom, he's dead. Next round, um, trying to fight a boss, you know? Okay. You with me? As much as I can be. <laughs> like I said, I'm trying to be vague about this game because it's 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 one of these games that there is way more. To it, but what's the point of the game? That's uh, are you just battling this guy, or is it like a, I'm, I keeping it vague? Okay. <laughs> you're just battling, you're battling this guy that that okay. you're just trying to defeat. Um, but you said this game. What's what's the other part of the game? That's what I'm saying. You say a game within a game. I can't. Okay. Can't can't say. I guess I'm just gonna talk about the first shirt part of this game. Where where I'm at right now, I'm just like, what the fuck's going on? Okay. What the fuck's going on? Like like I walked. I had to walk away. I was like, I was, I was literally like this, playing this fucking game. Like, what the fuck? So <laughs> it's, it's like DC deck building game with Inception. Sure, absolutely. Yes, act. Yeah. Okay. It, it, Interstellar too, if you want to put it in there. Okay. Um, so also on that board, there's a currency guy. Then there, you have these little figures, uh, uh, wooden craven figures that have sigils on it, like special markings. Like one of them will be like a, a, a skull. So I can place. Onto a card where uh, every time my card, every time you attack me, your card, uh, every time I, if you defeat my card, my card will explode on your card, basically like that. So I was like, all right, cool. I had another, I had a good run where my squirrel cards, every time I sacrificed it, it went back into my deck. I was like, oh shit. So I, I tried to go for that run where um, uh, I was just, because every time I had a card that was like two sacrifices or one sacrifice, I could just keep replaying my cards because everything was a one sacrifice. I also had another good run where every time someone attacked my card, I, I would get a B card. <laughs> so every, every time I got attacked, a B. <laughs> wow, this is. Uh, so I had a good run where, where B I had a lot of Bs in my deck again. One sacrifice, so I just placed it on the card. Uh, another another good one. This you're gonna get a kick out of this. Same concept. It said Bs. I got ants. So <laughs> every time I placed it, and this is cool. Every time I had an ant card, I'd place it down. Um, every time another ant, every time I would place another ant on the play, instead of one damage, it does two damage. So, so oh, they buff each other. They buff each other absolutely. Um, so that was fucking cool. I had a. a there's a, another equivalent like that where um, you also so every time you want to sacrifice a card, um, you get bones. So you have your sacrifice deck, and then you have <laughs> teeth, bones, ants, bees. 
Oh my god. Uh, so you have these other cards where where you have your sacrifice cards, then you have your bone cards, where every time you sacrifice cards you get uh sure, I think no, one per bone. Um and some bones some cards take eight bones, four bones. So it's a it's a cool balance where it's like, all right, hey, do you want to have more of a bones deck or you want to have more of a sacrifice deck? And then I had a nice like intermingle. Uh, I, I, I noticed for myself, I do a lot of sacrifice. And so I was like, all right, let me dabble. Let me get two bone cards just in case, you know, shit pops off. And it, 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 that did help me out in the long run. We're like, oh, fuck, I need I just need to get an attack in. And I'll just like two attack. Boom. Place that card down. Take a sacrifice with my bones. Boom. He's at he's dead next round. Um, after the wood wooden craving lady, there is a uh, sacrifice where uh, you sacrifice a card that will uh, hopefully give you a better card. Um, I did that a couple times, but I strayed away from there. Um, the boss, the boss battles are really unique, and all, again, I don't want to say anything too much about it. I, I, I. I'll try to play this game by the please, by next pod. Yo, so. please do, cause I had I luckily at work some coworker told me I was like, hey, have you played uh, Inscription? He did this look. He was like, yes, and I was like, oh my god, thank you. So I we just had like a fucking call. I told him like I was like, hey, this is where I'm at. Don't spoil anything for me. He's like, all right, I got you. And I told him he's like, yo, you're. Fuck, dude. And I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for being so vague no, about this. You don't want to ruin it. You don't want to ruin it. Because I was reading the comments about this on Steam. They're like, I'm glad I didn't know anything about this game because this game is fucking something else. Like, you think it's going to go somewhere? It's fucking. You're going to be like, you're going to. I want you to text me and just be like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, okay, that's, all okay. I, that's all I want from you. I, either from a text or like in our, in our Instagram chat, whatever. Um, but I, I'm like 20 hours into this game. Oh wow! Twenty hours because there's there's it's <laughs> it's a game within the game. Uh, obviously, I can speak about this because it's showing a trailer. Um, you can walk around in the cabin you're in, so there's more puzzle elements to it. So like you come across, there's a safe here. There's like a, a wolf here, it's, that's in a cage. There's a a glow. Basically, everything's interactive, and something does something with this game. Um, I only had to look up something one time, one time because I didn't know what the fuck was going on. And they were like, like, hey, I wonder what this, like, for example, I wonder what this wolf does. And the, and the card spoke to you because they give you, like, they give you hints. Like, oh, I wonder what happened if this wolf is free. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? So I played that for, like, two hours not knowing what it did. And it, it kind of helped progress the story. So it does help you in a way, but not really. And there's, like, a lot. There's a good balance between uh, puzzle elements in the game and, and a lot of fuckery. Like, what the hell? Um, I also had, like, a, I'm, I'm horrible, horrible at, at, at card games. So I got my ass handed to me but something about this game is it's it's a card it's a deck bin game and also a rogue like game so i'm like yo i i know i can get a better deck <laughs> like, i got you I like got you. yo i got I, I got this i got this and, and that's what's enticing about it because it has a rogue like element and also it's like a gamble of like all right hey that good run you bryce that good run you could have maybe you can try to reenact that or maybe you can get a better one i was like yeah you're right all right so i just kept replaying it over and over, over again. and over again dude i'm just like yo this is the most fun I had with a deck building game, and I think I like this game because of how fucking weird it is, and 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 and, and vague it is. Um, I guess I can't really play. Or maybe I'll start dabbling to more deck building games on check out on Steam because like it, it's it's sparking an interest, and and I really I also I don't really like playing against other people. If I'm playing against the AI, oh, this is fucking cool. And I guess if it, has, if it has like a weird, cool story or maybe a good story as well, I'll, I'll check out some more of them. Okay. Um, trying to think of what else. Uh, you have some, I talked about the currency. I talked about the wood cravings. Um, um, the, the writing is really, really good. Is there this. audio like people talking or is it all? Uh, it's all, it's all text messages. Texts. Okay. Text boxes. Text boxes. Yeah. And, and, and the way the person you're battling He's always changing like a mask, like like for example, that that wouldn't. He's all the same person. He's telling a story, but he's changing his face. Like all right, you, you see him like change it, but all you see in the background is his eyes. Mm. And, but when he gets close, you actually see the, the 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 person he's portraying. So, but when he's done, he he just backs away. You just see these weird, fucking glowing eyes. Um, this game's cool, man. This game is so cool. I really I'm want. Interested. I really want you. I really want. Our, I'll play. It. Don't worry, I'll play. It. I'll play. It. I want our audience to play it. Like. 
This game is so fucking cool and weird. And I'm not even a deck building is person. Is it on Steam? It's on Steam for okay. $20. Um, and like I said, I'm not even a deck building person. I can care less about cards. No disrespect to the card people out there, but I don't. Bastard. Fi- <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> I don't find them interesting. But if it ha- I, get, I think if it has a cool gimmick to it, like like how this game has, I'll definitely check it out. But also, I think I might check out just, you know, reg- maybe regular casual just deck building games just because, you know? Because, like, again, you're, the deck building game we played, I, I like it because it's unique. It's not mm-hmm. like me and you. No, it's me, you. And we're trying to take down. We're, we're, t- we're yeah. working together, but also we're. We're trying to fuck each other up. Yeah, we're yeah. trying to win as well. So I'm like, oh, this, that's that's a cool gimmick that I like. So inscription, again, 20 hours in. I'm not even, like, fucking halfway done because I've been stuck on a, a puzzle. And I, I was at the computer, like, just like this. <laughs> what the fuck do I do? Like, it, 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 the puzzles are cool. They make you think. Um... There's a lot of... I like it. It has a lot of things that I like. So yeah, I'll, yeah I'll this is it. like checkboxing everything. <laughs> everything for you, dude. Uh, it's it's a hell of a fucking game. Hell of a fucking game. Again, 20 hours. So good. I, I hope I describe this game <laughs> really well for everyone because I have to be so vague about it. But At least next episode we'll have more details on yeah, it. Yeah, then I guess we'll... Sure, we'll do like a... Like how we do it for Metroid, a spoiler or whatever. A warning, on, yeah. Yeah, like a warning. Like, yo, uh, and go from there. Wow. Inscription. 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 Uh, Forza Horizon 5. Jurassic World Evolution 2. 2. Ca- Castle of Illusion. Metroid Dread. Yeah. Fucking five goddamn games. And Holy they're all great. Good, good. Fucking they're all great games. games. This is a good goddamn pod for you guys. Holy shit. Oh, I'm going to compose myself. <laughs> oh, I'm, uh, when this is done, I, I want to play that game because so, I'm because that's my coworker was like, "Yo, like how far am I?" He's like, "Oh, you're, you're, you're like halfway." I'm like, "All right, cool." Because um, I got stuck on a puzzle last night. I was way, I was overthinking it. <laughs> like I thought, I, I was like, I, I broke, I broke it down. I was like, "Yo, is, is it? Do I gotta connect like the green lines?" He's like, "What are you talking about, green lines?" I'm like, "Yeah, there's, I see, I, I see green lines." He's like, there's no green lines. He's like, oh, "Okay, never mind then." And then he was like, he told me yesterday. He's like, "Yo." Be sure to check everywhere for where I'm at. He's like, be sure to check everywhere. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, just check everywhere. I was like, oh, god damn this fucking game. Like, god damn this fucking game. Because I don't trust anything. I don't trust anything about this fucking game. Uh, there's always something. There's always, I, I, again, I really want you to okay. fucking play I'm going to play it. Don't worry. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it. Uh, let's move into some uh, news. Gotcha. News. What's up? What do news. we got for news? I'm going to start off with some, some sad news. I know. Sad news. Let's, let's pop it off. Pop it off. Steam Deck delayed. I'm trying to play the world's smallest violin. Steam, Steam Deck is delayed. It got uh, delayed. I think, yeah, pushed until the quarter two of um, 2022. Uh, got a quote from them. Uh, we're sorry about this. We did our best to work around the global su- supply chain issue. Due to material shortages, components aren't reaching our manufacturing facilities in time for to meet our uh, initial, in, initial launch, uh, Val wrote. Uh, based on our uploading estimates, Steam Deck will be shipping our Q all of our Q uh, customers uh, February 2022. So, just a minor setback. Minor setback, but so you know what? It's, it's okay. we're still gonna get it. So, I can't wait till that comes in and we can actually review and test that game out or the console out because that's gonna be a game changer for me, um, especially with my entire Steam library in the palm of my hands. Yeah, I I, I, I can am- play Incursion. Yeah. On the go, baby. I, I am really curious for your aspect because again, you have you have kids. It's hard for you to fucking play games on your on your computer. It's free to sit down. So I'm I'm definitely curious to to hear more your feedback. I'm like, I can I more curious about the feedback and more curious about you playing more fucking video games on the fly, like how it goes and shit like that. So it kind of makes me maybe want to pick one up, but not really. You know, I have more. <laughs> Yeah, if, if, if they're still going to be available once they come out. So if you want, test mine out. Mm. You know, maybe take mine for a weekend and see how you like it. And lad, oh. lost, lost, his, uh, lost the audio. Check your back. I'm back. All right, my so bad. Reset what D- you said. Disconnected what I said. Um, I said I would let you borrow it, let you test it out. Then you can. Cause we share a lot of similar games. Yeah, like we, our, our libraries yeah, yeah. Are, are pretty similar, so you can test out a few there. Um, it, and it, you can log into your Steam account. Yeah, that's and true. Download yeah. the games that you want to play. Um, and then you can go from there. Mm. It'll be cool. If we could pick it up and see how, like, if, if if they can connect to each other, how 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 that would be. 
Like multiplayer on the go? Oh, multiplayer. Yeah, I'm curious about some some games. Um, see how it plays. See, m- most part, because uh, I'm not really worried, but the frame rate for Locked at 30, but I, I don't think it would be that big of an issue because most games are realistically 30. So we'll, 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 we'll fucking... And I think on a mobile... And a mobile form factor, it may not be a big of an issue as mm-hmm. compared to sitting down in front of a big TV Shit. and everything else. Like my, most games on this Switch are probably thirty. There's, and they're, they're, they run a 720p. They're not yeah, even a full 1080. So, so and they look gorgeous, amazing, gorgeous. Like okay. literally, Metroid Dread. Ninety percent of the game I played on handheld. Really? Yeah. No, no stutter. No nothing. stutter. No issues. And I, there's a few times where I beat the boss on the big screen, um, and I went from. Getting frustrated to there, plugged it in, and I, d- I had no issues transitioning between t- uh, both playing, handheld and I played play a little bit of Mario Odyssey in handheld mode. Looks still again, still look fucking gorgeous. So I'm um, again, this is Steam Deck. It's a handheld PC. We'll we'll see. Sucks sucks that it's getting delayed, but it, this was kind of bound to happen eventually. Maybe not bound. But it's, Kind of figured there'd be a delay with the shortages and with shit the shortage, everything going yeah, on in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was surprised they're gonna launch this year. I was like, oh shit, let's go. So. I, I'm curious. So, delay, minor setback, February 2022. No, no actual release date. Date. No date. Date. That's why. I, that's why I'm saying huh. it. It may be quarter. Um, a little bit pushed into quarter two of of 2022. So we're looking. May, I, I'm thinking we're looking maybe March. April. I'll say March. Safe, March. April. Safe bet. Yeah. Yeah. One mm-hmm. of those two. Because we're what? We're in November. They gave a, a statement what last week or so of this recording. Um. I don't know. Well, yeah, maybe Sa- latest probably March. Yeah, bet, so March April. That's my that's at least that's that's my um my opinion on where I think it would launch. So next yeah. order news: Destiny. We never got to talk about this like crazy. Never fucking uh. Destiny is is getting rid of. It's pulling. Oh boy, pulling a lot of expansions from the console version of 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 of. Destiny 2. Thank you. Destiny, Jesus Christ. Um, getting rid of Shadow Keep, getting rid of uh, Forbidden, for, 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 Forsaken, Forsaken, yeah. and you're getting rid of Beyond Light, which is obviously Beyond Light recently just came out. I was like, holy shit, that's fucking crazy. I guess for what about to unpack is a lot for me. Um, they're getting rid, first of all, top thing is they're getting, they're putting Forsaken in the vault, which is crazy because that's like the that's like the biggest and sure kind of is the best expansion because there's there's two worlds you go into you go into the dreaming city and then you go into uh mm, dreaming city and what's the other place called fuck forgot what it's called mercury not mercury holy shit i'm a big destiny fan and i freaking forgot the place oh my god dreaming city and somewhere else basically they're getting it's two uh, basically that's their biggest expansion they, they, okay. they have ever that's done. the one where you go into like the warped area right the forest the the no it's something else. Okay, I'm thinking it's something else. Then. Yeah. Um, which is which I thought they would get rid of again, like Mercury or get rid of Nessus because uh, Forsaken kind of intertwines with not really. I'll just say kind of intertwines with the latest expansion, but that's more of high base. So I, I just find that really weird. Um, I kind of understand. I knew they were going to put that in the vault, but again, that's like their biggest expansion, like by far the best one. It's weird that I'm getting rid of it, but I understand. Um, but for the console version, I, 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 where, Jesus Christ, where is it? Hold on. There was a quote where they're saying they were going to get rid of it. Uh, okay. Forsaken. This, this is a quote. This is the reason why they're getting rid of it. Forsaken is the oldest ex- expansion leaving, but the same time going uh, for, for, yeah, same time going free for all players, December 8th until Forsaken campaign. Tangled Shore. That's what it's fucking called. Tangled, Tangled Shore. Tangled that Shore. Is uh, Tangle Shore destinations are valid when the Witch Queen arrives February 22nd. So everyone has three months uh, to bet uh, if they haven't played it yet. Uh, Shadow Keep, again, same same concept. Oh, I don't need to read all of this. But uh, basically, there, there's a nice lengthy paragraph of why they're getting rid of it. And also, uh, Bungie's like, yo, if we placed all these... Um, expansions? Expansions, uh Basically trying to have room because uh, uh, Destiny would be like a fucking 120 gig game, which is understandable, which I get. But they're trying to reduce the gig gig wise, so that's why they're trying to recycle uh, and in vaults. I just find it weird that I think I told you like, yo, Forsaken's for free. What three months ago? And now it's like now they're gonna vault it. Now they're gonna vault it. Like that part is weird to me, which I get. A new expansion was coming, but I thought they were gonna recycle, do some shit. Um, I thought they were gonna keep. 
one that makes kind of makes sense. I thought I could keep uh, the lace expansions, but for for free to play Destiny yeah. players, there's a story to actual play, so you kind of do need to go to Nessus and, and do places. all those. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I hey, ding ding ding. Train of thought came to, came to my mind right now. Um, but that's that's a little bummer. But again, understand sucks. Be sure to play all the expansions before they're, before they're vaulted. Before, yeah, before they're gone. Uh, so that 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 popped off. Right there. Mm. What we got next? What we got next on the docket? Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite. Halo Infinite launched on the birthday of the original Xbox, yeah. which I the- it caught a lot of people by surprise. They did not expect it to be released early, which is amazing. First of all, um, I still have not played the game. I'm planning to play the game tonight with my brother. Um, we're gonna try to get on there and try to. Um, Test it out, see what the game offers. All I've heard from this game are amazing yeah. things. Amazing things. They say it's super nostalgic. Um, it gives you the old vibe with the new, with the new, where the, the game is going and where um, they're heading towards. And they, I, all, I just hear phenomenal things about it. So yeah, same. I'm same. excited just to see what they brought to the table. Yeah, because they were they were doing backtracking. They uh, Xbox did a live stream of what 20, 20 years, twenty years of fucking Xbox, which is fucking. Crazy, right? That's man, that is crazy. Think about like I, I think I kind of, I was watching E three. I got started watching E three late because I didn't see the initial launch of it. I think it was before they're streaming it. Um, but, but anyway, I, uh, I remember, I remember they did some footage like, hey, The Rock was there, Bill Gates was there. It's like, hey, this is Xbox. I'm like, oh shit, this is pretty cool. Um, they also are doing a uh, six part documentary, which I'm curious to see. December 9th. Or, or it's in two weeks. Okay. So that first week of just about Xbox, like how it got started, you know? Um, and they were just talking about just no, no great. Be, there's no, they kind of said like, Hey, this, there's no fucking announcement here. Like, just, I will say this. Now that I'm thinking about it, Xbox, this standardized something that was very, very crucial to the gaming market. What? Hard drives and their fucking consoles. Yeah. yeah. They were. Remember everything was memory cards. Everything was fucking. Yeah. They were yeah. the first console to actually Have invest. Fucking, internal memory where you didn't have to have memory, fucking memory card you're right yeah so they're they, they changed they changed the game they changed the game they changed baby the game. they changed the game um so they just went through some just like you know e3 stuff uh xbox 360 xbox one the good the bad stuff like that it was a cool uh, announcements and then um uh bungie no uh three for three <laughs> three for three was there and they're like yo we're excited to show off you know yada 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 but also after the stream, Halo Infinite is out. I was Live. Like, oh. I was like, Boom. oh, shit. Fuck. All right, let's go. And just like you, I just heard phenomenal things. First of all, people were like, yo, oh, shit. It dropped. And then, again, just on Twitter, just forums, I saw, like, yo, this is fucking. It's good. It's bringing, it's it's good. bringing back. It's bringing Halo on the market again, yeah. pretty much. Um, and then within eight hours, 270 people, concurrent players were playing. So that's pretty fucking impressive. And. They needed. They definitely needed this win too. Yeah. They after showing it the first time, people are like, "What the fuck? Uh, it just didn't look right. Everything seemed off." I understand it was like pre pre production. Yeah. I always say like, "Hey, show stuff when you're ready. Don't yeah. Don't, don't just show shit off. To just show, to show shit off. Because yeah. they 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 read they yeah they read they heard the feedback then they were like fucking de- delay Halo. <laughs> they delay it. Um, it is free to play. Uh, free to play, baby. Free, free to play. Halo. Um, again, phenomenal things. It's cool. Uh, they also talked about uh, backwards compatible. Uh, like this is their last list of uh, uh, of games because they said they they exceeded what they they do. There was seventy six games. I believe Burnout Revenge is on there. I'm like, yo, let's fucking go, baby. And uh, this is enticing me to want a Xbox. Yeah, because yeah. I can't play those games on the PC. I need an Xbox. To actually play them. Play those yeah. games, and I've been craving to play Burnout. Burnout. I'm like, fuck, and there, there's, there's, there's a whole there's a whole catalog of games. Um, um, they also did like a, a, a an FPS boost to, to enhance it, so like 60 frames or even higher. Uh, I know Fable got an FPS boost. I'm like, sure. Burnout, Takedown, and Revenge got a boost. So I'm like, yo, that game running at 30 looked good, but imagine 60 now. I'm like, oh, fuck, let's go, man. The crashes. Oh, that's going to be so fun. Fuck. Um, and 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 – that's it. It's cool. I, I, I'm kind of curious to play Halo. Not really big. I'm, again, I'm way more curious about the story than anything. Or I'm, I'm not a PvP 
I'm a big PvP person, uh, but I'm I'm more willing for the, I'm I can't wait for the story to come out. Yeah, yeah. same, same. Um, and uh, I think I talked about yeah, four. I think it's, talked about Forza. How it's ten million concurrent players yep. playing. Did I say? No, I don't one? think you mentioned that. No, uh, so ten million people are playing. Uh, Forza, Forza five. Yeah, mm-hmm. like within within before, if you wanted to play it, they already had like a good standard. Uh, a player count already like a four million people were playing and then it's it like, spiked oh. yeah yeah and then after when it actually got released released then like gradually over uh this this week like yo 10 million players are, are fucking playing this game so that's fucking cool this is their biggest launch first party launch which again xbox i didn't say needed it but with game pass doing phenomenal for them and, and it's a, it, it's a great addition to add into yeah that so like they're on a fucking roll right now so but that's good. What's yeah. next on the docket? And the last, 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 last. The video game awards. The video game. I'm gonna sit right here. Holy fuck. Okay, no, I'm not gonna sit right there. All right, I can tab down. Last, last sort. Game awards popping off next week, baby. Tune in. Tune in. Um, I'm just there for the announcements. Me too. Before I'm there for the announcements. See what they're gonna more, do. More or less. And I'm interested to see what games won some of these categories. Because before we get to this list, what do you want to see there? What's your crazy prediction? Like, what game do you want? What remastered? What's something? Like, who do you want? What do you want to see at the Video Game Awards? Jeff Keighley said there are gonna be 30, 30 games there. I don't know how many of them are new IPs and new announcements. So. We got a we got a good chunk of information like, coming. Yeah, in. something something, and he's been tweeting like crazy, like "Yo, Game Awards looking good." Yo, Game Awards this and that. I'm like, okay, he's he's up to something. So what what do you, what's your crazy prediction? Because I got I got two. I got. Two. Well, let me get yours first. So my crazy prediction, it's been it's been in the talks for a while. A lot of rumors, a lot of speculation, but I think we're gonna we're gonna see Bloodborne. PC, PC, yep. PC port. I, I was I, thinking about PS, PS uh, exclusives are going over. Yeah, to, um, I, I think uh, that's going to be shown there. If not, maybe E three. Okay. L- l- some sometime either either announcement like Hey, Bloodborne's coming, or Hey, Bloodborne is, is here. Yeah. yeah, one is two. Day one, download it right now. That's my fucking crazy prediction. I think we're gonna get something about Bloodborne. Something, an inkling whatever because they're kind of done no no from software still no, yeah, we're not even close but actually from software is not working on bloodborne i think blue point that's rumors is something they're working on there uh blue point blue point they they did the remaster for uh demon souls okay, okay they okay. did uh the the remaster or the collection for metal Gear solid they did uh shadow of colossus they did phenomenal fucking just they're good at remaking games okay so that's my speculation and I think we might get some shit about Metal Gear. Something. I don't know. That's a... These are my crazy predictions. There's been some rumblings about Metal Gear <laughs> a lot lately, <laughs> about remastering it, HD and finding remaking it, and I'm like, okay, I'm with it. Also, it's off the PlayStation market. Really? That's not bad. See that face? Yeah, that's so something sus. For uh, me, I think it'd have to be if it, it may be something. I don't Crazy prediction, man. Could I, be right, could be wrong. Be, it's, it's funny to look back on this. Like <laughs> we were fucking wrong. <laughs> prediction wise, yeah. What do you think they're gonna anything? I don't know. I, 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 I for me, I, I, the only thing I could think of was the PlayStation exclusives coming over to PC. That's the only that's thing it? I feel like they would announce. Okay. Bloodborne may be one of them. I think they may add a few more in there. Okay. Um. But that's the only thing I could really think off the top of my head. No, you think about Naughty Dog, no, Last of Us, something. You talking about going over to the PC? Or they're, you know, they're making another that that expansion. The expansion doing. for yeah, it. They, yeah. It's been a while. Last of Us got released. See, because for me, like if Nintendo, like all right, so I would be like Breath of the Wild, something new with Breath of the Wild coming out for the second uh, that's, game. That's but that's gonna be for Nintendo Direct. I feel it's not gonna be something. Did they show something else at, at the VGAs? I want. Did, did they show something? No, no. Yes. I don't think so. I don't know. But it may be something like that, maybe from Nintendo. Um, other than that, 
I'm I have a pretty much open mind on what. Okay. I'm just waiting to see what's coming out. I don't want to okay. speculate too much. Okay. You see, yeah. Show me the facts. Show me the facts. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. Show me the facts. You're, at not, this point. you're not a yeah. madman like me. Not right now. Not, not, not on this re- event. Re- not on this event. Goddamn if this was like another event, stuff. like something specifically to uh, a, a a console or a a company, then maybe. But when it's so vague like that, mm-hmm. I just need to know the facts. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's again so much moving parts are happening. Exactly. VGA, exactly. So, like, it's kind of hard to pinpoint. Uh, I remember they put like this. They did show Metal Gear Five. But they didn't show Metal Gear Five. They did that. Do you remember the, yeah, the that, whole kerfuffle? Like, yeah. It's a fake game, but they're like, "Yo, this is Metal Gear is like, no, it's no, not." not. I'm like, yeah. "What the? Like, bro, Kojima's there. Like, what the fuck do you mean?" So I was like, "Whatever." That, that was a fun, good. That was a good rollout. That was an excellent rollout. Fuck what you heard. But we'll see. So yeah, tune I'm, in. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. It's uh, December 9th, right? December or thirteenth, something like that. Uh, I'm trying to read. It. Yeah, ninth. 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 Okay, yep. December ninth. So next, okay. next week. Uh, game. Of, I'm not gonna read all these. There's just there's too much. Um, just uh, I, I got you. Pick we'll pick three categories. Game of the year. Okay. Ongoing. Ongoing. I got shit to say. <laughs> best indie. Best indie. Let me scroll through these real quick. Game impact and kind of the, the top. Go the top one is uh, games. Okay. Game of the year. Yeah, I don't run too long on this. Uh, game of the year. We got Deathloop. It takes two. Metroid Dread. Cycle Nuts. Ratchet and Clank. Rift Apart and Resident Evil. Village, Village, Dread are my two tops on that one. I still want to play Death Loop. Haven't got, touched it. I like the idea. I need. I I need to just sit. I only play like thirty minutes of it because again, I was I was running trash on my PC. I was like, fuck this. Um, I do want to play Ratchet and Clank, but haven't touched it. Resident Evil, fucking Village was dope. I I really 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 liked it. Metro Dread, like those are my two contenders as, as well. Like hopefully, that'd be nice if. Uh, Village got it, or Metroid. I'll be happy with either. I'd be ha- I'd be happy more if Metroid got it over Village. Mm. Even though I think um, I haven't played Village, but I hear it's a phenomenal game. Um, it's weird. I I played Dread, so but yeah, yeah, Dread right. was so good. Yeah, was Dread like, was really again for a person that doesn't like uh, Metroid like nah. games at all. Uh, I had an excellent time again listening to the last pod of me just chanting away like how fucking cool this game was. Uh, yeah, uh, you just have to scroll down these lists. No, I said, I just pick, pick another category if you uh, want to. Best ongoing. Best ongoing. This is another you have, you have, you have to talk about. Yeah, let me just... Apex. Okay. Call of Duty Warzone. Okay. Final Fantasy fourteen. Okay. Fortnite. Genshin Impact. Who's missing? Destiny. Destiny. What the fuck? That's like the bet. Come on. I know I'm biased. I know I'm biased, but De- Destiny. Take Genshin Impact out of there. I know what they're doing, but it's okay. Epic. Not epic. Fortnite. I know but what the they're three doing. freaking. I wish I would have picked one battle royale. Why would they pick three? I, I I don't know. I think I think realistically, I think Final Fantasy fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. Four, I fourteen. Hear, I hear fourteen is it's fucking I, amazing. I've been thinking about that game a lot as well. I've been thinking a lot about games. You know, <laughs> uh, perfect. I, it's perfect that you do though. Yeah, uh, I played a little bit of fourteen. It was cool. I try. I need to. Because I hear the story is really good. I was kind of paying attention, but not really. I was like, I need to just reset my character and just like actual focus on the story. But that game is fucking good. Like they they are on a fucking roll right now. Um, I get Fortnite like that. It's, yeah, but it's I, Fortnite. But I feel like realistically, all these categories, realistically, maybe Apex or Fortnite. Those are the big two contender tenors I see of what they, how far they have came. Actually. Final Fantasy fourteen because they they were in the ruts they were in the shit they had to re they they rebooted, rebooted everything yeah uh, they, imagine trying to reboot a fucking MMO imagine you can't uh, that's what I'm saying somehow they, they did they have to win it that's what I'm saying they, that 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 story is phenomenal that is that is a fucking crazy I hope they do they I realistically they should deserve it like all these other characters are Genshin I could, Genshin, get that shit out of here. Uh, I don't know if you're a fan of Genshin Impact. Um, I'm sorry. Get the hell out. Get that shit out of here. It's all. It's okay. It's, it's so so. Whatever. Um, you pick one. Best narration. Narration. Nar- best narrative. Narrative. Death Loop. It takes two. Life is strange. Oh, the True Colors. I was like, wait, what, what, first one. Uh, Marvel's Guardian. Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and Psychonauts Two. Again, can't really say too much about either of these games. Um, haven't really did my deep dive on these. Um, I heard Guardian of the Galaxy is pretty cool. I heard Solid. it's good, yeah. Um, I know I played 
I played the first Life is Strange. I haven't played the second one. I played, uh, what is it, the other game? Oh, my God. Marvel's Avengers. That was that story was really fucking good. Endgame content was trash, but the story was, was really cool, uh, emotional. The writing was, like, fucking there. I was like, oh, shit. Like, I wasn't, I had really low expectations about that game, but actually, I came out and was like, yo, this game was fucking, let's go. Um, blah, 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 blah. Best indie game, 12 minutes. Uh, Death's Door. Kenya, Bridge of the Spirits, Inscription, Loop Hero. Do you want to check out Loop Hero? Heard that was pretty cool. Oh, I'm just going to pick. In- Inscription. I, realistically, we haven't beaten 12 minutes. That game's fucking... That game's amazing. That game's great, That game's too. amazing. I'm, I am... Bro, Bloom the Fell, fucking fuck it. 12 minutes. That's, that's the best category. Um, it really goes between those, those two. I didn't like Death's Door. I, I played it, and I was like... Everyone was speaking highly about it. I was like, I don't... You don't see the. the I don't. The I don't. Hype. I don't get it. It's like it, it is like Dark Souls, but it, like the only cool thing was like the boss battles were were, were cool. But other than that, I, I really wasn't feeling. It. I felt bored. I was like, this game mm. is. I don't see the 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 hype around it. Um, I'll do. I'll do like two 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 more. Uh, let me let me find most anticip most anticipating game. Uh, Elden Ring, God of War, Horizon Forbidden West, uh, the next Breath of the Wild, and Starfield. Breath of the Wild, for me. I'm a Zelda fan. I think Starfield. People. I haven't played Starfield, so I, I can't. Have you, do you know what? It, nothing. Um, space game made by Bethesda. Uh, open world. Is, well, I'm telling you what it is. Oh, okay. Th- yeah. th- 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 <laughs> I thought you trying to ring no, no, no. a note no, 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 to no, no. me. I was that, like, that's, nope, that's, not ringing a note to me. That's suggest it's a brand, okay. brand brand new IP. Obviously, mm, what is it? Two of these are two. Where where where's my? Where did it go? Uh, Elden Ring's new IP. And Starfield's new IP, like those are two new IPs. Um, maybe it could be. I think I, I really think it's Starfield because like it's brand new. They've been talking about this. That game has been in development, not development. They announced that game way too fucking early, like twenty seventeen, I think. Way too fucking early. I was like, yo, what? Um, yeah, I, I that's think how I'm looking. Starfield at it. or Breath of the Wild. I'm, I know it's, I'm a Nintendo yeah, fan, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I think it'd be those two. Um, in my opinion. Forbidden. People are excited about it, but I don't think it's the most anticipated. God of War, same thing. Elden Ring. I know people. Are, I think it's between Elden Ring, Horai, or Elden Ring, Zelda, and Starfield. One of those three. Okay. Those, those are my safe bet. Um, and last but not least, we're gonna do. We're gonna do. You pick one. Best esports. 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 Content creator. Multiplayer. Multiplayer? Multiplayer. Multiplayer. All right. Back for Blood. It takes two. Knockout City. Monster Hunter Rise. New World and Val- 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 Valheim. Valheim. I haven't played any of those. Any shits. of these. I did like Back for Blood, but I fell off. I don't want to say it's the best. New World. Played that. That's the, uh, the MMO. It's not the best. I don't really care for any of these titles. Knockout City was pretty cool. It's, a, it's that dodgeball game. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, Valheim is that open world Vikings game. It's like Minecraft. I um, didn't play any of those. It's okay. None of these are really. No. My, for multiplayer, my, my options, wouldn't, they're not even on that list. So. I guess the thing, if Destiny's, Destiny should be in there, realistically. So, like, it's like, it's like the I best, get you. So, you know. Um, I don't know. If I, can, I, I think I'll pick Back for Blood. I did have my fun. I wouldn't say it's the best, but I had fun with it. But. That's that's it. There's a, there's way more other categories in, but again, I'm more. I'm we'll more, find out December 9th, though. Yeah, yeah way yeah. more way more excited about the, the announcements than anything. I try to participate, try to give a shit about the Game Awards. I know it's been doing excellent over the past years. Uh, it did it did it outdid the Grammys. The like, Grammys, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I'm trying to I'm trying to be supportive about this. Um, even though it's, most of these categories I really don't agree with, but that's what. Same that and that's what the, I think that goes me for the awards is the categories I don't always agree with all of them. Yeah, and that's that's enough. It's, I like to be part of the conversation too. You know, be part of that community. Obviously, we are part of the community. And just you know, be, it's nice to chit chat. Informative. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's nice to co- see us grow as a community and see how what. Jeez, look at the old VGAs. That shit was trash. At one point on G four, remember? Dude, those? it was. I was excited for it. It was cool, but. The production now, it's like we're, we're way more professional. You know, that's 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 what's cool. And we're starting to get more. Video games are more mainstream. Yeah. They're so, more mainstage. So yeah. It's cool to see where we are now. And, again, uh, Jeff Keighley does a phenomenal, phenomenal job. I, I know people don't like him for what he's done, but got to give credit. 
do. Yeah, what like, credit's what, due. Where, what he has backed and what how how he has changed the 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 the, the scene for us. You know, he's he's been behind it. He could have left like. Two, so he, he's still pushing through. Yeah, yeah. he could have been like, "Fuck this! Uh, this is like my, my third year. I'm out." But no, he stuck with it. You know, that's pretty cool. So, uh, December 9th, Let's see. We'll we'll get back at it and. And run down these and have a conversation about these mm-hmm. winners and losers. And so. we'll see. We'll see what made the cut. Yeah, basically. So, whew, that's a that's a pod. That's a pod, baby. It's a fucking pod. We got Holy some games God. in. We got some anticipated games in. We got some good news in. So you got you got to hear how you got, got to hear how we started our our video game journeys, pretty much. So. You got to you got to join us on that journey. It was a, join the journey. Did I have I used that for the title? For one of them, maybe I have. Fuck, we'll figure it out. That's a lot of games. That's a lot of games. That could be the title. Play some games. There you go. Play some games. Play some games. All right. Or try these games out. Try. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> try these games out. All right. Got it. You that's got it. That's a title. That's a title, <laughs> that's a baby. Title. That's, that's, that's the title there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Any any closing thoughts before we 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 head out? Anything else? No, we really appreciate if you guys uh, shoot us an email, uh, leave a comment on the YouTube channel, um, nevergameoverpod at gmail dot com. That's it. I'm not gonna mess it up. That way, oh, beautiful. Everyone gets yeah. that information. <laughs> um, like I said, reach out to us on uh, YouTube, on email, you can on follow Twitter, Twitter, uh, Instagram. We're not we're, the, the, we're the, not, pod, the pod's the not pod, on Instagram, but we're on Instagram. Uh, yeah, we're on Instagram. Uh, you want to plug your shit? Plug at your Gibby shit. Saying, like there always. There you go. At Instagram, uh, ad is at Gibby Saying. Boom. There it is right there. Wait, I got to do this right this time. This way. Okay. Wait, let me go from this side. Okay, there. Yeah, and then do, do another one. Okay. Fast? Yeah. Okay. How about do one? This is fun. <laughs> do. No, no, no. And then. Push your mind like this? Yeah. Okay. Like that, and then, like like Disney, like Disney. And then, yeah, hold, okay. Well, I, yeah, got it. Got there you it. go. I got there it. Go. I got it. I got, got it. it. I got it. Got it. There you go. There you go. Uh, you can find, find me at Bryce at Gamer on Twitter, on Instagram. YouTube. Uh, Yeah, YouTube. I was saying, no, I'm not on YouTube. <laughs> That's the fucking channel. Uh, on the YouTube. Uh, I'm on TikTok. Check out some, I got some content there as well. Try to put our platform everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Everywhere. Uh, myself and the and, and the pod. Um, yeah, check us out. Again, be sure to like us, rate us on Podbeam, iTunes, YouTube. Again, drop a comment like you said and email us for sure. And thank you. Thank you fucking so much for listening, downloading all that, that goodies. We appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Um, also, be sure to check out, yo, our boy, the one, the, the only. only. You know who you are. You know who you are. Internal? Yes, no, god damn it, fucking. Initial command, guys. Initial command. Please (laughs) check him out. Listen to his music. Music's amazing. Um, Bryce will get it right one day. I was going to say, he dropped up a new fucking song. It's pretty fire. I like it a lot. I just try and give him the god. Eternal command. I got, I got you. I got, I got you. I got you. It's all right, man. You get it next time. But yeah, check this shit out. Check it, <laughs> check this shit out. Uh, it's a, I'll probably, it'll definitely be in the, in the description down below. Descriptions yeah. and yeah, uh, uh, you're also should have said it at the beginning of the show. There's t- there are timestamps so you can just jump around. I'll be sure to note it in the next one. So awesome! Have a good day, night, morning, whenever you're listening to this. Thank you so much for listening, and we're out. Go play some games, cocksuckers. This is a special report from ABC News. I'm Peter Jennings in New York. We believe that something is going on in Iraq. We know something is going on in Iraq. Confirms that there has been unusual American air activity in the area of the Persian Gulf the largest U.S. airbase in central Saudi Arabia. That is the U.S. military making an official announcement in Saudi Arabia, according to the Associated Press, that the attack against Iraq has begun. Ready for war, sir. Ready for war. That's what this ship came over here to do. Everybody's nervous. It's just like playing a big game. Until the first blow, you won't know what's going to happen until the first blow. University, they began final exams today, but most students were well aware of the deadline.
time had just passed and war could soon begin. So be it, so be it. We are ready for that. We want uh, peace and we don't want any war. I don't like to anything bad to happen to any of your soldiers or our soldiers because the war will be a devastating one to both sides.